Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing all right. Back to some trucking. Uh, for anyone interested, we are doing uh, basic trucks tonight. So we start with nothing and we upgrade them every job we do. That's what we do on a Saturday now. That's going to be every Saturday. Hiya Josh, hiya Rico, how are you doing buddy? Here we go. Oh, we've got a few in who have listened. Excellent. Nice one. Yes. Cool, cool. So we've got Boy Hazard, who has joined in the convoy. We've got Mitch, who has also joined. We've got Matty, I think that is. Not a low cab, but he has listened to a certain point. But yeah, we try and go for something like this, so it's completely standard. Uh, so there's no side skirts, no nothing. That's a little bit higher up than what we normally go, but that's fine. We've got another one, he's listened. Voltra. We've got a Volvo who's technically listened, but he's got some side skirts on, so he's not listened as much. We've got Shino who's out there, he's listened. This guy coming in. Mackin's listened. We've got Bailey who's joining in. This guy's not joining in. We've got Harry Gaiman who is. We've got Hola. I don't know what that is. Hola Sons, I think that is. We've got Jaden. We've got Ninja. That looks pretty cool, man. We've got Ryan P and a Renault. We've got. That's a good point. Where am I? Oh, I'm there. That's me. I'm in the white scan, yeah. That's me. Yeah, good point. Who else have we got? Toasted. Nice little basic man. Odds, nice. Josh, nice buddy. Wilson, nice one. Basic Volvo there from White Knight. Another Volvo from Firefight Wish. There's an um, Daft. Daft's are good. We've got Fub Freeman who's joining in. And me first. So no, all I was saying about the Scania is, I'll show you, that's a basic Scania, that's, that's as low as you can get, so no side skirts, low top, that's as basic as it comes, this one isn't, this one's the next one up, it's got the high cab on it, it's already got side skirts on it, that's all I was saying, I'm not having a go, it's fine, it's not a problem, but we're trying to do basic basic, so it's got nothing on it, see? Completely, completely standard. So, start with nothing to work our way up. Hiya, Emma, how are you doing? Excellent. Cracking. So, plan is, this is going to be every Saturday. So, if you want to come on a Saturday, you need to buy a new truck. And it has to be completely bog standard. Uh, so, single axle, low engine, you know, no lights, no paint job, no nothing. So, what we're going to do is, every stop we do, so we'll do 250 mile jobs. And every stop we do, we do two upgrades. So the first stop's two, then it doubles to four, and then we do six, and then if we get a last job due, we'll do eight. So each stop we get two upgrades, and second stop's four, third, six, and so on. So it adds on to every stop we do. So by the time you get to like your second job, you've had six upgrades. So that could be lights, could be wheels, could be, you know, could be anything. So, right, we'll get cracked on anyway. No Iveco, that's, that's a good point. No Ivecos, mate. Right, so we're in Oslo, is where we start. Hiya, Ben. Ben's just got in as well. Nice one, pal. So we're looking at 250 miles to try and keep the jobs a little bit smaller so we can get the upgrades done. So I would say that would be our first one, a Jonker Ping. Yeah, Jonker Ping, a plastic roll film to Jonker Ping. So all you need to do is highlight the job, don't take it, just find it in your job list and then just highlight it so you've got this page open. Do not begin delivery until I take mine. Just find it, if you don't have it, just keep refreshing until you find it. This little refresh button here, just keep refreshing and as long as nobody takes it, it'll be there. And then type got it into chat when you've got it. Awesome, smooth man. Our trucking nights are smooth now, smooth as. Right, I've got no GoPro, so we'll get that sorted. Lovely. Right, 
still no GoPro. Where was this? We'll get there. All right, everyone's got it. Nice one, lads. Top guys. All right, now we've got it. There we go. All right. Is that on? I don't think that's fitting well. All right, that's it on. Lovely. A lovely jovi. All right. Take the job, lad. Yeah, well, we're all about 300 horsepower, I think. 3, 350, you know, around that. So, excellent. I'm just going to move my truck so I don't get booted. Lovely. Right, time to go and pick the job up. These are my... Like, this is my most favourite night of the week because everyone's in different colours. Every every truck's different. So James, nice truck, buddy. But as I say, we try and do the lowest of the low if you can. Uh, that's quite a high-end truck you've bought. So James, who I'm talking about here, is on the left. So you can see he's already got double axle. Uh, yeah, you can see he's already got double axle and that on. We try and keep it as basic as possible so you can add it up, you know, through the episode. If that makes sense. I'm sure people will get it. It does look good, doesn't it? Oh, I like it, man. Right. On we go. Oh, I love basic nights, it's awesome. Trucks are so plain, it's unreal. Oh, I just put it in reverse, my bad. Alright, we are off to Jonker Ping, yeah, that's where we're going. I was running a little bit late. Hey, uh, Fraser, so when I go to Peterborough, Truck Fest, what we're going to do is. Ah, uh, hang on, how, how the hell do I get in here? I've gone past the place, I think. Yeah, so what we're going to do when I go to Peterborough is, if you join the Facebook community, uh, we're going to advertise on the day. Really? Yeah, so what we're going to do with Peterborough, we're going to advertise on the way. Uh, so on Sunday I'll put on the Facebook community that I'm going to meet somewhere uh, on the on the Sunday so I would say I'll more than likely be I've got no idea where my my sat now telling us I've gone the wrong way so yeah, we'll advertise as a time and a place I'll more than likely be at the Euro truck booth so there's a Euro truck stand so I'm going to possibly go there for an hour and tell everyone I'll be there, and then I'll meet you all there. Hey, gambler, how are you doing? Satna has messed up a little bit, if I'm honest. I have no idea where I'm going. Yeah, Fraser, as I say, if you join the Facebook community in the description, I'm definitely going to do uh, like a meet and greet for an hour at the Euro Truck booth. I'm going to go there first and make sure it's okay to do it. But uh, I'm sure they won't have a problem with it. Make sure... Uh, have you seen my dress sense? I can't make anyone look good. Can't even make myself look good. Oh, lovely. Hey, 
Is that Ellie secretly trying to tell me that I look better than John? Is that what she's saying? That could be classed as flirting, you know. Right. So, I just need to change my shift pattern on my truck to a Scania shift pattern. Which is down here. Scania 12 speed. Lovely. Alright, all our basic trucks. So this one's mine. That's my truck. It's going to change over the course of today. Our first stop is two upgrades. I don't know what I'm going to go for. I'm not sure yet. Right, are we going for it or what? I've got no truck sound. Bear with us. It'll come back. There we go. Right lads, just, just set off, I'll follow you lot. On you go. We've got 270 mile to go for our first upgrade. Ah, Mr. Wilson. Nice one, bud. Yeah, nice, Sam. You have a good one, buddy. It's not nice when you don't feel well. Am I going to borrow a needle string vest? No, definitely not, man. Come on, I'm waiting. On you go. Right, one beyond all. Ah, you're working tomorrow, yeah, got you there, Ellie. Right, lads, I want to follow you lot. I don't want to be in the front all the time, so let's go. Go, I'm telling you, just leave. Go for it. I don't know what part of leave, don't you mean? Let's go. Come on, go, I don't want to be at the front. Excellent, right, I'll follow you lot, on you go. Right, does Mark know his on-screen dash isn't working? I don't, no. I'll sort it. No, if you don't tell me, I don't know. Uh, I don't know why it's not working. Tell you what, we'll just shut the whole thing down, will we? Bear with us. <laughs> Bit late for that, Jezza. I know now. Alright, we should be working now, I think. Yep, we're on now. Uh, no, this wheel isn't limited edition, no. Oh, sorry lad, sorry. Jesus Christ, I didn't even see you coming. No, the only limited edition wheel that's out from Fnatic at the moment is a direct drive one. Which I would literally kill a bear to have. I would stream in my pants for a week for that wheel. Right, uh, just watched the promotional video for... Oh, mate. Oh, honestly. I'm pretty sure anyone would stream in the pants for a week. Oh mate, John, I'm the same. Said, I, I was laughing, I said that to him, and she said, well you wouldn't wear a dress for a week, would you? I was like, aye. 
away out for a week. I'll do anything. Just give me that wheel. Everyone's uh, flying to get their upgrades. So don't forget, when we get to the next drop, it's two upgrades, that's it. So that can consist of anything though. If you get, if you put a light bar on, that's the light bar is including all the stuff on it as well. That's one upgrade. Same as wheels, if you're gonna do one wheel, then that's all the wheels. The same as tires, if you're gonna put one tire on, that's all the tires. So just one upgrade is one of it all, if that makes sense. So one wheel isn't classed as one upgrade. All four wheels are classed as one upgrade. Uh, this map's about four pound for this one, yeah. Yeah, it's about four quid on Kingwin. Poor John. It'd be interesting to see what that's like. Like it looks. Oh my god. It looks insane. Absolutely insane. <laughs> Ellie, don't thank him, he's an idiot. You get now he gets everything. White Knight, mate, you should have a trailer on to be in the convoy, buddy. You don't need a job, but you should have gone to your garage and picked up a trailer. If you convoy him with us, you need to have a trailer on. Whether it's empty or a job, it doesn't matter. You have to have a trailer on. Okay, Joel, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. I know, early. I know. I think I would literally pass out. I actually think I would have a seizure if I got that wheel. <laughs> Generally. I don't think I'd be speechless. I don't think I'd know what to say. Insane. Any sim racer would love it. Ah! Chap has just watched... Oh, mate, honestly. That limited edition F1 wheel, man. Oh, my days. Insane. Yeah, new MP, yeah, it's called, uh, I can't think what it's called. But, uh, yeah, it looks good. It does look good. It'll be interesting. It, it'll definitely have problems to start with, though. This MP had problems for the first, like, two years. It was terrible. But now it's nowhere near as bad as it was. Bailey, 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 use your mirrors. Use your mirrors. Open your eyes, you blind fuck. You can't just drive into people. I didn't mean that in an awful way of mine, Bailey, if you are listening, but please, please use your mirrors, pal. No, you don't need to apologise, just use your mirrors. Sword. Right, uh, not that truck's MP has been alpha version for four years. Yeah, I know. I love this basic truck night. It's mint. Look at all these standard trucks. I might go for a paint job straight out the door, you know. I don't know what to go for. Two first upgrades. I don't care about engine. I don't care about gearbox. And to be honest, I'm not that bothered about axles either. I'm quite happy with a, just a, a truck that looks nice. So, Hello, Burr. How's it going? Axle side skirt. Ah, see, we could go side skirt. I, I'm not bothered about an axle. Like, I really don't care that much for an axle. I don't know yet, John. They said they were going to send me it for free, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, they said they were going to send us early access. Alloys in a side skirt. Yeah, see, that's possible. 
I love this, it looks mint, all the little trucks. Uh, there's no point in setting budgets because that's complicating something that works really well. Having just the upgrades is best. Start with two, then four, then six. Three jobs at 250 mile each. Doesn't take long to do. In single player, you don't crash as much. Uh, it's just to play with your friends, you know? That's it, mate. It's like, what's the point of having a cock if you're not going to play with it? It's the same as this, man. Uh, Coax, how are you doing, buddy? What are you asking? Uh, question mark. So I'll take it you've asked a question. Uh, can't say anything, to be honest. Ah, under a month until you get your PC. Nice one, pal. Right, I'm going to pull him behind this yellow truck, actually. Mr. Cool Cookie. I'll let, the, I'll let the fast lads go past. Right, should I buy a T3 uh, 150? Uh, it's kind of more in my budget. Yeah, the T150 doesn't come with three pedals and a shifter. So, I, do, I, I don't know what would be... I, I don't know what you're after, but personally, I, I would go for a TX uh, at least, or a T300. So, but yeah, if you can't go for either of them, you could always go down the. Uh, you could also go down the cheaper route. Mac and mate, nice to see you, buddy. But please don't overtake on the hard shoulder. It really complicates things. Should have a trailer on as well, mate. That, see, it's people like that that wreck the convoy sometimes. But I know Mackham isn't, he's a nice guy. If it's a Mackham, I think it is. I don't know where his trailer is. I thought he had a trailer on. I swear he had a trailer on. Right, barely, mate. You need to put your foot down and overtake, buddy. The lads behind you are trying to get past. You're holding up the whole fast lane, mate. Some interesting drivers on tonight, like. Shino's going slow for some reason. Right, single right lane coming up, lads. Oh, Jesus Christ, Shino. Single right lane. It ain't real. Fuck me, what a man you are, mate. You want to get yourself off to Oxford, I tell you. Ah, Sheeno's going a different way to us, okay. See you, Sheeno. Love you. He's probably dumped his trailer by an accident, yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I've done it. <laughs> I have done it a few times, you know. Uh, you don't need to delete stuff like that, John. It's not an issue. Not a problem, bud. Doesn't bother me too much on a night time. Gives you a lot of break as well, you know. Hello, Andrew. How are you doing? Doing good, man. All the basic trucks parked up, ready to come in. They get the traffic jam all the way up there. Ah, oh, it runs so well, the basic night. I love it. I love getting to the uh, red spanner and then seeing everybody's... Uh, everyone's upgrades, you know. The trucks start to change shape and colour and... Yeah, 11 o'clock streams, I'm just going to start making non-PG now, to be honest. It lets me chill a little bit and be a bit more my normal self, as in language-wise. I'm always my normal self on the streams, but I, I, I do swear a lot in real life, so... It means I can just chill a little bit. Ah, well, you shouldn't be on the phone, should you? Right, when am I doing farm sim? Uh, I did some farm sim today, I was on today, but yeah, I do farm sim pretty much every day, so uh, every day that I stream, I did uh, an hour and a half to two hours today. 
Next farm sim will be Monday now because uh, no Tuesday because I'm not on Monday. I'm taking the Monday off to spend with my wife. So we've got family here the rest of tomorrow, and then we're going to have a day to ourselves on Monday. Ah, just just a little bit, Ellie. You know, just just a small amount. What time is it for you? It is 6.26pm for you. Scott, it's uh, half 11 at night for me. No, I'm not going to the car show, buddy, no. Now, I'm going to Peterborough uh, at the end of the month, but that that's it for me. Can't wait, to be honest. Looking forward to it. Shame I'm going to spend a, a whole day in the car with Mr. Nobhead, but... Good with Eddie can't be there, at least it's someone decent to talk to, you know, but hey, you got to put up with these things. I do, yeah, Thursday, Richard, you get the plaque for 100k Thursday, yeah, unreal, man. John's going to buy me a podium on Tuesday, so that's going to be good. <laughs> John likes balls, interesting. Does that mean like Ellie has to wear a pair of balls for you then? Is that how it works? I mean, to be fair, Ellie comes across like she's got bigger balls than you, John, anyway. John's are still in his stomach. Right, get the steam wheel and shifter and pedals, but uh, one setup monitor. Yep, yeah, one monitor is good to start with, definitely. I mean, it's how I started. Absolutely. Joshua, how are you doing, buddy? Can I play P Cars 2 next? Possible. Possible. Well, we both know Emma's got bigger balls than you. Jesus Christ. She's got bigger balls than me and you put together. John's going on like he can boss my wife about she'd headbutt him. You do what she tells you to do, mate. It doesn't work the other way around. Right, uh, I'm sure John could let you use his phone to FaceTime me. Ah, it's, it's a possibility. Oh, I could look through his photos. See if he's got out, I could spread all over the internet of himself. <laughs> now that would be hilarious. Hey, right, Charlie and I are watching. Uh, he already knows these words. <laughs> right, you want some better words to teach him, do you? Emma will smash you. She would, like. She would. Definitely. <laughs> John's good, man. John's getting on. Sorry, John, I have to bully someone. Right, I'm doing a right here. The other lads are going straight on, but I'm assuming they might need the petrol station, so. Right, I've got two lads up there, so we'll get caught up with them. Where's my other wheel? Uh, it's sitting on a shelf. That shelf there is where my other wheel is. So, yeah. I uh, I just quite like using all my all my different wheels, you know. John's getting both barrels. Well, the way he treats Ellie, he, he he needs it every now and again. Hello, Deli, how are you doing? Oh balls! I went the wrong way, Dave. I went the wrong way. Oh, it had to be a brick wall. Why do I always choose to have a drink right in an awkward? A crucial time. Sorry, lads. Don't go straight on, boys. It's a, it's a right here. It's a right. I don't stream on a Sunday, Joshua. Uh, Richard White is trying to tell you in the chat. So I don't stream any Sundays. Kick John, thanks. Oh, not a problem. Not an issue. Right, hello, wrench. <laughs> oh, poor Charlie, man. Feel sorry for him. With a dad like that. Uh, I'm taking Monday off, John. Uh, Joshua, I've got family over at the moment. 
Uh, so they're here tomorrow, and then me and my wife are going to have Monday together. So that's the plan, anyway. Hi, Aussie cock. <laughs> oh, I like that. Nice one, John. John's giving up on me. Uh, how much did you pay for all the set? I don't know. I honestly, it's a hobby. It's just something that I keep adding to. Hopefully, whatever it's worth now, it'll be worth 1500 quid more in the future. <laughs> That's the plan. Bigger and better. Hi uh, hey Dylan, how you doing? Hi hey Dan, how you doing buddy? Hope you're well. Hope you have a good Easter with your family. Cheers pal. Yeah, you too mate, you too. You too. We've got 65 mile left to our first two upgrades. So don't forget, if you're new to the stream, we've all got really standard trucks. As you can see, completely brand new from the showroom with no modifications. So the, the plan is to do two upgrades every job that we finish. So first drop will be two upgrades, next one will be four and so on. Every drop we do gets an extra two upgrades on top of the original two. So it's two, four, six and so on. So and if you if you're actually in the stream and you want to do some upgrades, uh, if you're gonna add like a light bar, that includes all the lights as well. Uh, or if you're gonna put one wheel on, one upgrade includes all the wheels. So it's anything that you have to add on top of it includes it if that makes sense so it wouldn't be fair if you did a light bar and then you had to put six lights on it that would be like seven upgrades so no light bar comes has all this stuff on it I'm pretty sure most of the regulars know how to do it now like wish I could join you maybe next time absolutely Emma you're welcome anytime absolutely anytime I might go wheels on paint first yeah so don't forget wheels and tyres is two upgrades though. So all four wheels is one, all four tyres is one. Do I need to use the VTC? No, any paint job tonight, no. Basic truck nights or any, whatever you want. So I'd rather people not use their VTC colours so we all look the same. And then when you want to use an upgrade to paint your truck, just do whatever you like with it. John, stop acting hard. I know. My kitten's got a bigger knob than John. And bigger balls, funny enough. Right, which town are you going to? Uh, our first drop is... Where are we at here? Uh, Jonkaping in Sweden, I think, is it? Uh, it's in the Scandinavian DLC, anyway. Right, I'm new to the channel. Hello, mate. Nice one. Are you really trying to say that you can please Ellie? She's got to say yes, and she's got to say you're great, because you're married. Keeps you happy and masculated. Doesn't mean it's true, though. Uh, Crow, how you doing, buddy? Don't like your second name, personally, mate. I think it's a bit disrespectful. But uh, I paid for the setup through me and my wife saving up to start with. That's how we built the first setup. And then uh, when I started streaming, just before I started streaming, me and my wife saved up. I sold my car, which I couldn't drive anymore, my motorbike, my camera, stuff like that. Raised about two, three thousand pounds to put into my original setup. And then when I started YouTube, and I put up a, a, a Streamlabs thing, which is what people do uh, for the notifications and that for subscribers. I said if anything got donated, I would uh, put it towards myself. So. That's what I've done, and then over time, with people have been super generous. Built this, I built my dad's setup, and then uh, we've got sponsors on board as well, you know. So the rig sponsored. Uh, there's a few things like the shifter was sponsored, stuff like that, you know. Yeah, it's been uh, a massive, uh, a massive change over the last six years. It's been insane. But I loved it, absolutely loved it. Very, very lucky. Right, send help. <laughs> right, is it better with triples or one big screen? Triples, yeah, absolutely all day. Hey, Tony, how are you doing, buddy? 
Yeah, Tony, that seat I sent you, uh, so that there is some other ones that are, are bigger, but that particular seat was probably, I think you said you needed 510 at the bottom, and that particular seat was, uh, I think it was 500. But with it, with it not being a deep seat, it means you, it's a bit like a car seat, you know, like if you measure the car seat that you used to sit in, you'll probably find it wasn't actually that big a seat. So I think if you go for that type of seat, you'll be fine, personally. Something that hasn't got big deep sides, uh, that's the bit where you can't fit in. I did find a really big OMP seat though, that was beautiful, but it was like 600 quid. <laughs> Right, what are you actually doing? Uh, what actually got you into YouTube? Uh, my dad was the one who tried to talk me into starting the stream, but my head at the time when I was really not well, uh, I didn't actually start streaming about until about two years after my dad was trying to talk me into it. But the main thing that got me into it was when I wasn't well and I was in hospital, I was watching a lot of streamers. And then when my wife got me into gaming, uh, I was then gaming a lot, so you think I game a lot now on stream, I gamed more when I wasn't streaming than I do now, because the stream takes up time to set up and change over and monitor, whereas when you game you just turn it on and go. So I was gaming like 8-9 hours a day most days, as soon as my wife went out, because we couldn't afford a carer at the time, uh, as soon as my wife went out we I had to harness myself in my chair and that's where I stayed until she got in from work. So. So yeah, I went from that to, uh, to actually do my first video. I couldn't stream. I, ne I never thought I would live stream because we didn't have the internet in our dream house. So... Yeah, I just just couldn't, but... Uh, as I say, I just, just, just got into it and absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Right, first upgrade, lads. First upgrade. Yes, I've fired the barbecue up, yeah. Had two barbecues, mate. Yeah, brilliant. Gonna have another one tomorrow as well. No steak tomorrow, like. Can I do steak every day? I would love to, but... <laughs> right, so we've got two upgrades. Tony. So, the only thing, Tony, is that seat is the same as this. So, it's this type of style, but it is big. Uh, this one's 410 wide. Uh, my dad's is 420 so, uh, but this, the the one that I found for 600 was like, I think it was like 570 or 5, was it 595 at the shoulder, like up, up, up here at the shoulders. But there would still be a bit of room to, you know, stretch out. And then it was 600 on the base, I think. So it, it, it would give you a bit of movement for breathing, I would say. Right, so we can't do much. Hmm, you see. Two upgrades is not a lot, so I could go with a side pipe, uh, a painted one though, so I could go with that, which is one upgrade. That includes the exhaust though, obviously. Right, so that's one upgrade. I don't know what else to go for, you know, because I could go like a nice sun visor, but there's not that many good sun visors for this. So I think I might go... I don't know. I don't know. I need I need one more upgrade. I think I'll go wheels. What colour are we gonna end up? I think I'm gonna go blue, like a like a baby blue eventually, so we'll do wheels. So we need to pick like a I wanted like a light blue. Like something like that I think. Right, so we'll do that. So that's the wheels and all the extras, obviously. Right, so I need a uh, yellow. I don't like that though, that needs to be the chrome one. Yeah, that's better. 
Right, so we'll go while that and the chrome. Right, that's my first upgrades done. It's hard because it when you just do two upgrades, like you don't get much for it. And then it doesn't look that good, you know. What well, next? We get four upgrades next, so that'll be better. Right. First two upgrades done. Go on, neon green, you reckon? Right, first two upgrades are done. And we're going to go and have a look around the car park and see what everyone else has done. Oh, no headlight. My bad. Right, some people have gone straight down the big cab route, which is interesting. Right, so what we got? I'm gonna let everyone park up. Some people have gone straight in for a paint job. Right, so what's he going? He's gonna side skirt. What's he gone for? Side skirt and a back deck, like that. He's gone high cab and a light bar. He's got a painted bottom as well. How's he pulled that off? He's done that well. Right, a man has got painted and high cab. He's gone for paint and side skirt. What's that one gone for? High cab and wheels? Oh, axle, twin axle. High cab and twin axle. Little Renault has gone for... Oh, that's a nice paint job. Ryan P, I like it. Paint job and side skirt. Volvo has gone paint job and side skirt. He's gone tyres and paint job. Like it. He's gone, what has he gone? Paint job and bull bar. Like that. Little Merc. Big cab, I think. Is that a big cab? Yeah, he must have gone big cab, I think. What else have we got? Stirring Charlie up earlier, changed him 30 minutes later, and he pissed on me. He wins the round. <laughs> I like that. Alright, Daft's gone big cab and. What's he gone? Big cab and what else? Wheels, I think? Yeah, big cab and wheels. Scania's gone big cab. Man's gone twin axles, big cab. Oh, he's gone exhaust, I like that. And paint job. Ah, there's another one, exhaust and paint job, big cab and twin axle. And side skirt, how's he pulled that one off? Cheating man, cheating. No, I'm just joking. Right, he's definitely three upgrades though, that's a big cab. So he's got light bar, bigger cab. Oh no, that's the V8 isn't it, I think. Because he's got painted bumpers and all that on as well. But yeah, I think he's just got not the basic truck. Mitch has gone. What's he gone for? Wheels and side skirt and paint job. Oh no, standard wheels, paint job and side skirt. And he's, what's he gone for? A bigger cab. Oh no. Sun visor. Like it, like it. Mercedes has gone for a big cab and light bar. Like that. What's he gone for? Wheels. Wheels and something. Might be an engine, you see, because engines as well. Mackham's gone for side skirts, like it and a light bar, paint jobs, looking good eh, little Volvo, twin axle, light bar, like it, that Scanny looks nice, painted front bumper, cool, well happy man, well happy, it's awesome, right, so next job, so we're looking for about a 200 miler, uh, so we can get our four upgrades and then the final is a six upgrade. So I, I think we'll just go for like a 200 miler next. So that's 100, that's two. Uh, what's that? That's 177. I want something that's pick up from here though. I don't want to have to drive for it. Uh, that's one. Right, okay, hang on. Right, that's 277 or 122. Two. Do you think we should do a small job for the four upgrades and then and then a bigger job for the six? What do you think? Has everyone got the 122 mile to Carl's Corona? I, I like that blue six twin axle. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. 
Strange seeing loads of trucks not in the mag colours. I like it though. It's nice just as a change once a week, you know. Alright, we'll, we'll take that then because the whole point of this episode is more about upgrades than doing loads of jobs, so... I believe I take it to six mark. Uh, okay, Tony, I'll, I'll send you the seat and you can have a look and double check your measurements and that, but I know it, we're live on the internet. I don't want to talk about it too much, but what you've got to, what you've got to remember is with these type of seats is this part, any bit, any bit here doesn't matter. As long as you width wise at your hips, you can fit in. That's all that matters. Anything on the front doesn't matter. So as long as your shoulders fit in that, and if you're concerned, the sparkle one I sent you, doesn't matter. There's no sides to it. See how deep these sides are. There's no sides to the sparkle one, so it's just like a car seat. Right, we've got it. Let's go. First job in me in my new half-painted truck. <laughs> I've got painted wheels and a side to get on. That's it. Right, just round the corner as well, which is good. I'm doing really good, really, really good, uh, Emma. Hope you're well as well. Yeah, see, some of the lads that have got the trucks that have already got big cabs on and already got like all the painted bumpers and that, they're already quite far ahead. So it's best if you can get the most basic truck you can, you know. Okay, sounds good. Many thanks for all the help. Uh, you have made me a really... Oh, mate, appreciate it, Tony. I mean, feel free to buy me a podium, podium wheel as a thank you. <laughs> I'm joking, man. Jesus. Tony will have a podium before me, I bet you. I bet you. Once he gets a seat and he starts enjoying the sim racing, he'll be loving it. Right. Left and a right. I'm I'm in a Scania, mate. Yeah, I'm in a just a Scania next gen, basic, basic. But we're getting there. I know, mate. I know. I'll have three. You know, if you if you're buying, may as well just get the three. All right. Can I just thank the community for the support given to Dalton? Oh, absolutely. See, the problem with Dalton is it gets to him, and and I get it, I hundred percent get it. It's not, it, it is not nice, and I get an awful lot more hate than what anyone thinks because I don't show it. Uh, but when you've got like photoshopped photos of your head, you know, with like shotgun pellets sitting next to it and stuff like that, I get it all the time, like all the time. You have no idea. So people can be brutal. All you can do is report them to the police, but and not let it bother you because once they see it's bothering you that's all they're doing it for and they're idiots they, they shouldn't be doing it and Dalton doesn't deserve it nobody does but uh, if they know it's getting to them unfortunately they, they'll just make it worse I ah, know to uh, Tony I'm only joking man I'm only joking Are you brutal? Yes, it's a sound enhancement. All you need to do is put Euro Truck Multiplayer sound enhancement in the Google and it's the first thing that comes up. Fork, mate, you can't fit in there. <laughs> You've just blocked the whole lane. You need to set off before me anyway. Right, lads, just set off. Go on, I'll follow you a lot. On you go. Let's go. On a serious note, no, Tony, I, I honestly, I think if, if, if someone or something happened where I had that sort of money, I would have to get my dad's computer done. I would dream of getting the podium, but it wouldn't be fair. It's been long enough, so I would have to get his uh, computer done. Although I would be, if I had that, um, like the exact amount, I would be so tempted. Oh, sorry, pal. 
Oh, I'm accelerating. I can't go any faster. If you're accelerating as well and don't let me in, where do you want me to go? I'm going to the same place as you. Politeness in a convoy is very nice, you know. I don't know why he couldn't have just let us in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, that's what I said to him. Uh, was that upset? I know. No, I know. It, it, but unfortunately, you're never going to stop the trolls, right? Trolls will not stop. You, you won't stop them. It'll only get worse. Uh, all you can do is stop it bothering him. And that's the bit you need to get through to him. And if, if if he can't accept it and move on, unfortunately, he would have to stop streaming. And I know that's not the answer, but trolls will never stop. Never. They just won't. And then if he gets bigger, they'll get even worse. In you come, pal. In you come. In you come. Lads, please look at your map. If you're sitting in the outside lane and everyone's going slow, nine times out of ten, it doesn't mean you need to go in the fast lane and overtake everyone. It means there's a corner coming and you're in the wrong lane. I got my P1 rig today and triple stand today. Uh, the only way is up. Oh, absolutely, Mark. Beautiful equipment, man. Honestly, it's superb. Absolutely superb. Hey, Laura, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Nice simple name. Can't go wrong with Laura Harrison. I do feel bad for some of the names that come in. Like, I absolutely butcher them. <laughs> but to be fair, it couldn't be any more complicated. Just waiting for my Fanatic V2. Nice one, buddy. V2 are you going for? DD2. I do not look like... I might look like Conor McGregor's ass, but I certainly don't look like Conor McGregor. At all. Maybe if you lifted his ball sack up, that bit underneath there, I might look like that, but other than that, I definitely don't look like him. Right, uh, Bantner Ben, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. Sorry, I've missed tons of chat there as well. Could, could be worse uh, than the firefighter's name. Yep, completely agree. I don't know why he doesn't just change it to firefighter, because that's what we all call him. Doing good, man. Yeah, doing good. Are you random? How's it going? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I'll probably shit on my own chest before I drive a Mercedes, if I'm honest. I'm just not posh enough to drive a Merc. Right, could you do an accent? No, I can't even do my own accent, man. I've called him more than that yet. Ah, I got you there, Tony, yep. Is the side panel good considering getting one? Uh, yes, I would say so, yes. Uh, if you're going to buy one, though, I would highly recommend just buying one second hand, mate. Honestly, I mean, I got that, the wheel and the pedals, for 80 quid. And I got my dad's. My dad's got one of these in the garage waiting for his setup. And I got my dad's for 60 quid off Amazon second hand. So, for 60, 50, 60 pounds, they're well worth it, like. Well worth it. I can't drive in real life. I'm not allowed to due to medical reasons. Right, hey, Zach, how's it going? Hope you're well. I think I might have brought my truck, you know. Right, we're running with 73 miles to go. A nice line of us. Big long line of us all the way there. Got yours for all 30 pounds. Jesus, man, that's cheap. Ah, right, okay, you drive one. Got you, yeah, got you, got you. Uh, this is a Fnatic V2.5, and uh, it's got a Porsche rim on it. I don't think... I, I don't know if the side panel does work on PS4, to be honest. I wasn't expecting them lot to slow down there, like. Evening mate, how are you doing? 
Yeah, you don't want to get talking to a guy called uh, Glenn Jones. He uh, wets his pants every time he gets in his Merc as well. This is one of them Iveco Mercs though, you know. The Mercedes Iveco poo box, I think it's called. So it's something like that. I'll wet myself if he's listening. <laughs> Got you there, Zach, mate. Got you there. Right, uh, afraid I let you down because I'm not in the convoy. I'm worried. No, oh, no, it's not no problem, mate. As long as you're doing something. But if you drive, like tonight, you were in the convoy tonight. You didn't, you didn't have a trailer on, so you could have had two, three hundred miles down on truck books for nothing. Uh, you're driving anyway, so. But no, you're definitely not. Alright, uh, good night, Mark. Sleep. Yeah, okay, mate. You take it easy. Have a gun. Yeah, I reckon Charlie's first word is going to be cunt. <laughs> I bet you it was. I will wet myself if it is. Your missus would absolutely kill you. Ah, Gary, Gary. Uh, no, Grey, Grey, Grey Misfit, been a long time since you rode with us, well nice to see you bud, awesome pal, top man, top man, how are you keeping Blizzard anyway, hope you're well mate, hope you're well, Right, I got 33 miles and I can finally get me four upgrades to me truck. That's what I need, man. Yeah, you can, yeah. This wheel's a little bit small, but yeah, you can. You can stay with your knees, yeah. Helps if you've got cruise control on, like. There we go. We're winning now. Oh, the barbecue's been great, man. Yeah, it's super nice. Pre pretty good as well. It's actually quite a good barbie. Yeah, really pleased. So we're gonna have another one tomorrow. <laughs> It'll be three in three days. <laughs> it's quite good on fuel, this, to be honest, but it's only because it's got zero horsepower. Yeah, pretty much, Andrew, give or take. I mean, if we're five minutes over or five minutes before, it, it doesn't really matter too much, you know. Multiple button panel on my left call. This is the Logitech side tech side uh, sorry farm and side panel. Alright, uh, thanks summer house is nearly complete. Finally built the rig and the new PC has arrived. Oh phew, nice mate. What wheel have you got to go on that then Blizzard? Convoy's pretty bunched up as well. Mid. Ah, it was good racing, uh, kind of getting into it a bit now, yeah. It's just when my hands are so sore and it's annoying when you know you're better than what you're achieving. Uh, uh, say I sim raced for three or four years before the channel and I used to be so quick. I certainly wasn't the quickest, but I was fairly quick, like. Open world race game. Well, you can't really get an open world racing game because open world means like road cars. But yeah, your best bet's Forza Horizon 4. Uh, is your best bet. Ah, it's alright, bud. Not a problem, mate. Not a problem. It was quite a bad shunt on the first corner, like, I must admit. But it's not an issue. Ah, see you later, Ellie. I was going to say I can smell you from here, but that, that, that sounds terrible. Happy Easter Sunday, yeah, cheers pal, nice one. I haven't even got an Easter egg, you know. Forgot to even buy one, man. But the clutch on Forza is... Is a joke on Forza. No, I really like your clutch. Yeah, 
Not a problem. I mean, I dr was drifting on 40 yesterday. Not a problem. It used to be bad when it was first released, but now it's after it was patched, it's brilliant. Got a Logitech at the moment, but uh, once I've sold my race bike, I'm looking uh, same as you. Yeah, don't forget Thrustmaster though. The TMX, sorry, the TSW racer, the Sparko one's beautiful, honestly. Uh, or the, even the T300 Alcantara is nice. Loads of wheels available. The TH8 shifter's amazing. And uh, they even do a handbrake and uh, sequential shifter now as well, so. If you are pushing yourself too much to get the Fanatic, there's, honestly, there's no need. A Logitech's a pile of poo compared to the T300. Although, for price, it's definitely good, the Logitech, but once you've gone to the T300, you'll notice a massive difference. Red yeah, Diego, I will be getting back to it, definitely, mate, yeah. I've seen that one. Oh, you've seen the Sparko round wheel? The Alcantara one, it's, it's beautiful. Are oh, you talking about the Ferrari F FX wheel, the FXX or whatever it is? That one's nice as well. I would de if it was me, I would go Sparko. The Sparko one's beautiful. Right, another four upgrades, man. Let's go. Best entry level simulator to work with PC and Xbox. I mean, what do you use to chat in ETS2? Why? Use Y, mate. Press Y and then type and then press Enter. Yeah, Sparkle was beautiful. Uh, I have a TSW Racer waiting for the DD1 next in July. Ah, nice one, man. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Derek. Uh, yeah, why it is, buddy, anyway. Uh, what else were they going to say? So, best entry level. What most people do, like me, when I started, I couldn't afford to get a cheap rig for 300 quid and to get me equipment like my wheel and all that. So what I, what me and my dad did was we made them out of wood for nothing. Bought a really cheap seat for like 30 quid, made a wooden rig, and then spent the rest of the money on the wheel and, and, the, and you know, the screens and everything. So that's what, that's what we did to start with. We never had a proper rig for three years. Right, what kind of PC you need to play a Euro Truck? To be honest, even an older PC, like quite old, quite dated, uh, it'll, it'll run Euro Truck no bother. The Euro Truck's such an old title, it still runs on DX9, which is like eight year old. So, you can run Euro Truck on a potato, like, like for instance, a 980 graphics card will probably get better frames on here than what I get on me 1080 Ti. So, the newer card you go on this game, the, the worse the frame rate is, pretty much. Uh, Aiden, it's a hobby, mate. I honestly don't, I don't actually know, but you'd be looking around about 5 to 10. Right. So, we've got four upgrades to do. So, I definitely want to do that. That's a definite. I want to paint it, which is two. Yeah, so I was thinking of going like. I was thinking of going a more blue. I ah, like that, like a deep blue. But I don't know if I want to go that colour blue. I think they. Uh, what colour were they? Yeah, so I think I'll change the black to a white. And then I would change them to more yellow. Nah, that looks... 
looks pish. <laughs> I'll get it, man. I'll get it. Try and go more gold on that. Would that look better blue, possibly? Oh, that looks fucking dire. I don't, I, I don't know if I like the actual... I think it's more the fact that I don't like the paint scheme, I think. Yeah, that looks like death. Scottish flag, man. That's where it's at right there. Scotland for the win. <laughs> oh, I haven't used any of these paint jobs for ages. I forgot I even had them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that looks pretty mad. Jesus Christ. Scottish flag, yeah. I quite like that, actually. That's pretty nice. I just, I don't think I like the whole truck in it. I think it's just too much. You know what I mean? Michelin. Everyone goes Michelin though, don't they? So many nice paint jobs, man. Actually quite like that. That with the blue actually looks not bad. Ah, yeah, go on, we'll go with that. Right, so that's two for now. Uh, I need... I'm going to have to paint the front bumper, which is three. Because uh, I'm going to get kicked. I just don't want to go with a normal truck. Because we always have... We always have normal trucks. Right, I'm going to have to go four with that for now. And then we'll do the front in the next one. Yeah, I just like the flag colour, to be honest. I just don't want to go with a plain colour when it's a night to chill out and enjoy yourself, you know? Yeah, Swedish flag, yeah, that's what I meant, sorry, my bad. It's because I was going to put the Scottish flag on. But the Scottish flag just doesn't look as nice. Right, I'll just go and have a quick walk around and see what people have done. I actually quite like that. It looks pretty mad. Oh, we're starting to get colours in now. He stayed with the orange. It's gone side skirt. Paint job, axles. That red scan, he's looking nice now. Oh, he stayed single axle as well. I like that. That's looking pretty smart. Like it, daft. That's looking clean. He's got some upgrades on there though. Oh, he hasn't done wheels yet. Alright, got you. What we got over here? Paint jobs, paint jobs, light bars. That's nice. That's super clean. Standard daft. He's done now. Is that even a person? I think it is a person. That's nice. Oh, I like that. That is clean. How nice is that? Torsten Hovis looking good, man. Excellent. Right, we're good with that. 200 more. Another 200 mile. Yeah, Orange Scania is you. Nice one, mate, yeah. Uh, can I take one guess where you're from? Absolutely, mate. Go for it. Zach, absolutely go for it, mate, yeah. Right, we need we need to go across into Poland, like. I kind of want to do more than 150 mile. Yeah, I know. Looks playing, but a thousand horsepower, though. Right, 229. We're gonna go to Lodz. 
Don't forget, don't take it. Just put thank. Uh, just put got it into the chat. Don't take it. It's been great, squad. Oh mate, I'm not gonna guess where you're from. Tasty, you get the Scottish flag. Ah right, yeah, got you there, mate. Got you, bud. Got you. Yeah, we're going to lods. How are you enjoying the dad life, uh, or is anyway? You enjoying it, bud? Definitely, most people tend to get jobs now that we do it this way. It definitely works. Oh, mate, I'll dump truck as MP as soon as I can, yeah. I hate it. I just hate the people that are on it. Right, what's the best wheel to use? Best wheel to use is one you can afford, yeah. Absolutely. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, if you haven't got it, don't type no, just... Just keep, you just got to keep, uh, just keep refreshing, that's all. But it's going to be gone now because I'm taking it, so you've had a chance to refresh. Now let's go. Ah, I like that, man. Hard to go to work, but easy to come home. That means his missus must be sitting next to him. That's why he's been, you know. That's why he's been soppy, you see. I please me blue truck, I like it. Watching your videos, uh, Baz. Honestly, the best wheel is what you can afford. If you can afford something for hundred pound, find something for hundred. If you can afford, if you can afford five grand, buy something for five grand. I mean, it, there's no point in buying a hundred pound wheel if you've got a grand sitting there that you want to spend. So it's got to be what you want to spend. Definitely. Follow the other night, uh, the other day, I've gone for a G29 as a startup wheel. As I won't be gaming 24/7. Ah, yeah, got you. Good man, good man. Hey, SST, how you doing, bud? Hope you're well. Hey, not a problem, mate. Not a problem. Eh, uh, no, me knob's fine, mate, yeah. Me knob's absolutely fine. Give it a wash every now and again, you know, but... Eh, uh, spot on. Doesn't smell too bad at the minute. Right, eh, uh, I'm off. Bye. Yeah, see you later, Emma. Have a good... So, Logitech and Thrustmaster, yeah, but the, the Logitech is cheaper by, like, half the price, but it just doesn't compete. The other ones are so much better, and the uh, Thrustmaster shift is like stunning. I've got I've got a Thrustmaster shifter on the other rig, and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go and wait for everyone down at the docks. Look behind me. Why? Uh, I do have a daft wheel, yeah. Well, I've got a truck wheel uh, that I use for trucking. Yeah, you haven't got it yet, though, have you, Deli? No? Have you actually got the shifter yet? No? I assume you haven't got it yet. I know you ordered it. You'll love it, like. Has Firefight actually ordered the stuff for Sam yet, as well? 
Ah, two trucks in each other, I know. It's just because the uh, they come out the collision zone. It's not a daft wheel, buddy. It's just a it's a wooden wheel from uh, just from eBay that I put a daft uh, badge on. I've got loads of badges like Holden, Audi, JCB, Merc, you know, and so on. There's tons of them. I've got absolutely loads. So that's what I use on my wheels, on my custom wheels, anyway. Don't ship to the US, haven't had... Oh, no way, man. That's gutting. Ah, it's all here. Ah, right, and you got your shifter as well. What What do you think of the shifter, then? Have you actually got a shifter set up? Right, can we just crack on, do you reckon, yeah? Yeah, JCB tractors and farms them, yeah, that's what it's for. You don't have that DLC? What, Poland? It's like a pound to buy going east. Jesus. How have you got Scandinavia but you don't have going east? It's cheap as out. Ah, yes, I do know it, yeah. Nice one, mate. Nicely done. Uh, heading now, we are heading to Lodz in Poland. Yeah, 214 miles ago. I'm going to follow uh, Harold Haroldson, I think it is. Not yet, can't wait till Monday, but uh, the big kid had to get it out to look at it. Oh, see, so you actually, you, you've felt the shift there. It's, it's beautiful. That, that, that Thrustmaster shifter is awesome and. There's a hole in the side of it that you can stick a flathead screwdriver in. You can just tighten the actual shift so it's tighter to move. Uh, that's what I did with mine, it's really good. Alright, we're on the move boys, on the move. 50 mile an hour, uh, Haroldson if you can, just 50 buddy is perfect, which is 80 kilometers. Yeah, so if you if you hold the shifter up so the black bit's pointing forward, on, on, the, on the side there's a hole, it's got a little slot, put a flat blade screwdriver in, turn it to the right I think, and it'll tighten the shift. Are you pleased with the shifter though? Because obviously, Firefighter's got the G27 shifter, but you must see the difference. Uh, I know obviously it's a lot more money, but the quality difference is insane. 50 mile an hour, on we go. Right, stay at the beginning where you had the wheel on, on a desk set up. Did you have to keep moving it out the way? I never had a wheel on a desk set up, no. I, I, I went from a, a shoe rack that I turned into a little rig uh, with a Clio bucket seat, well, a Clio car seat that my mate gave us. I went from that to a £30 bucket seat that came out my car, a reclinable one, and my dad made us a, a rig out of wood because I couldn't use chop saw out when I was that ill. So, yeah, just I've always had rigs. I've never had a wheel on a desk. Yeah, I am uh, hoping it fits the stand, uh, or otherwise I'll have to look for a new stand. No. What you can do, you know the mount, you know the screw mount that's on the shifter deli, right? If you look, if you look underneath the rubber, there's a rubber thing on it. There's three bolts. If you take the three bolts off, that whole table clamp comes off. And there's two bolt holes under there, and you can hard mount it to anything. You can bolt it to whatever you want. So it takes that whole that whole screw system off, and you can bolt it to whatever you want. So all you need to do is bolt it to the stand. I'd be very surprised if a stand doesn't have bolt holes already on it for shifters like that. Yeah, 
Yeah, you don't need to table clamp it, you can just bolt it. Uh, Dylan, probably about another 40 minutes, I reckon. I'm going to do this job, and we'll do our six upgrades, and then I'll do one more job. And that'll probably do us. There's loads of people out there, it's meant. Yeah, Greg, tighten up the shift pattern, that's what it's for. Had to order a shift amount as it didn't have, but it's small looking, yeah. So, but honestly, the shift amount that comes, if it has holes already drilled, or firefighter can drill two holes in it for you, once you take all that crap off that shifter at the front, take all the screw and everything, there's just two neat bolt holes underneath. I can show you on mine, I'll send you some photos. Just two little bolt holes. So all you do is slide the black thing up to where you want to bolt it and just put the two bolt holes in. And also, Deli, don't forget with the shifter, the four screws on the top of it that hold the silver thing on, slacken them off and you can turn the whole shift pattern. So you can have the black bit pointing wherever you want and then just rotate the whole shifter so it's straight again. So you can do whatever you want with it. But I'll, 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 uh, yeah, I'll phone Firefighter on the phone I'll take my shifter off and I'll phone him and show him what I mean. Right, Nino Football. Mate, it's a hobby. I don't know how much it costs. It'll be between 5 and 10k, but I don't know an actual price. I also don't care. It's like a project car, you know, you don't you don't add everything up. Hobby's a hobby. It's like asking a fisherman, oh, how much have you spent over the last five years? You would never know. And also, you wouldn't care. Right, I really missed the convoys, Red One. You should get yourself back in, yeah. It is four holes, by the way. Two, mate. Two. There's two. There's, there's four holes all together, but you only use two to bolt it down. Don't use four. <laughs> there's, two, there's two at the back, two at the front. Depending where you want it, you just use the two holes. You're not bolting down a fucking... <laughs> A wheel, you don't need four bolts. Where the shifter is, there's a long bit of plastic. There's two holes at the front of that and two at the back. You only use the two that you want where, wherever you want to place the shifter. You don't use all four. I mean, you can, but if <laughs> you're wasting your time. And most shifter brackets only have two holes for the Thrustmaster bolt pattern because you're only meant to use two. I'm doing good, Ben. Yeah, spot on, mate. Yeah, absolutely spot on. Uh, another job after this, yeah. We've got six upgrades at, at the end of this job. Uh, we've got 135 miles. I think the 200 mile kind of works, you know. 2, 250. Gets all your upgrades done. And then we'll probably take a 400 mile job. Uh, and then that'll be us, so. What do I think about school? Nice guy, yeah. I'd, he's got a. Uh, He's kind of gone to thingy now, so... He's gone to Twitch now, hasn't he? I know I have one. I'm just saying, so, Daddy, you have the option of two sets. I know, but I'm just saying, telling... All I was saying to her was, just use two holes to bolt it. I didn't want to say, oh, there's four holes there, and then them try and drill four separate holes to bolt the shifter on with four bolts that you don't need to. I, as I say, I'll speak to fire fighter uh, on the phone and I can show him where to bolt it. I agree with you mate, I just wasn't trying to complicate something. Because what will happen is when, when you don't explain something too much, people just go and do what they think that you should be doing and it, they end up putting like four bloody holes in something that doesn't need to happen, you know. Do you think the next job will continue through the Gone East areas? I would think so, yeah. We're not... 350 mile-ish, we're not going to get out of there, so... We're going to Lods at the moment, and then we've got one job left. We're in our standard trucks. So I've got six upgrades to do at this next drop. I'm not actually doing too bad. My truck's looking all right. I need to do some front bits to it, like... I'm still on standard power, though. 
I right, just done some flight sims. Uh, all right, got you there, mate. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Greatly appreciated. Yes, brutal. Ask away, mate. Ask away. Right, I've done a lot of mods. I have a drifting wheel uh, from an S15 instead of a normal wheel plus. I have a DIY set of truck seat. Uh, nice, mate. Nice. Just buy whatever you want. I mean, yeah, you can't upgrade the Logitech. You have to change. So, do you want to spend a grand on Fnatic or do you want to spend 500 on Thrustmaster? It's fairly easy. It's a fairly easy choice. The good thing about Thrustmaster is you don't need to mod a wheel to it. You buy a 20 quid 3D printed adapter six bolts and you can bolt whatever wheel you want to it and you just change it so easily. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, I normally do 11 to 1 macking, yeah, 11 to 1. Hello from Portugal, hello mate, how are you doing? Uh, this is 16 speed, yeah. Uh, this is 16. So 16 speed trucks actually only use four gears. So the actual shift pattern, they only use one, two, three, four. And then, so yeah, they only use one, two, three, four. So a 16 speed man, for instance, right, would be one, two, three, four. And then you split it like this, uh, range it up, sorry. And you got five, six, seven, eight. And then you can split each gear. So you have one low, one high, two low, two high, and, and so on. So you, you have 16 gears. But you don't actually have 16 gears. It's just, uh, it's all done on the shifter. I know, I know, sorry, Renzo, it's fine, mate. I asked him to. He asked if he could ask me a question. I couldn't see it on the screen, so. Hey, you do what we all did. I had a modified G27, and then I went to a Thrustmaster T500. You research it on the internet, pick the one you want, and buy it. It's simple. Evening there, uh, Chris. How's it going, man? Right, where else are we? Uh, did I miss anything else? I don't think I did. But 86 miles to go and six upgrades. I don't know what to go for, man. Don't know what to go for. I don't think I'm going to bother with Axel. I'm going to go rear mud flap, I think. A light bar. I need some light bars. Give me, give me some light. Catching the lads up now. Uh, I've got a wooden wheel that I use as a truck wheel, yeah, but I like using all my wheels, you know. Right, uh, going well, how's convoy going? It's absolutely spot on. No, we haven't had any bother. We really haven't. It's been very smooth, very simple. Minimal hassle, you know. Ah, nice one, buddy. Ben, nice one. Yes, online, yeah. Tom, we do convoy nights four times a week. 3 at 8 p.m. UK time, 1 at 11 p.m., which is this one. All the start time and locations and days are on the Facebook community in the announcements at the top of the page. I have, yeah, Andrew. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? I know. Uh, modifications. If you mean for modifying the trucks, you need the Griffin pack for the Scania and the uh, the DAF tuning pack. That's the two ones at the moment. I 
I think all the trucks should have tuning packs. I mean, they're knocking maps out left, right, and centre, but they really need to sort the game out. They need to update it to DX11, and then we need more trucks. Even like a classic truck pack or something for, even if it was 15 quid or quite dear, I'd still buy it. You know. Ah, cheers, Ben. Uh, Dean, sorry, thanks, bud. Yeah, I've been really happy with it. Honestly, I. I Apart from getting my dad's computer sorted, I wouldn't change anything on my setup. Well, I would change a wheel if I if I could, but um, it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna happen. But yeah, getting my dad sorted, but everything else on my setup, I love, absolutely love, super super happy. That's not a bad mate, seven quid. BMR, how are you doing? Doing good here, mate. Yeah, doing good. Absolutely, Chris, but I think the the maps are getting that big now with all the map DLC. How many truck DLCs have we had? None. How many add-on trucks have we had? Nothing. Okay, there's mods, but we can't use them on multiplayer. So, I don't know, I just, I think there's so much there. Hello, pal. I haven't got an air horn, mate. My bad, I haven't put one on yet. <laughs> Uh, would I be a real trucker? No, I can't. Can't drive in real life, mate. That's why I've got a simulator, so I can enjoy myself. They're not crap, they're just... I, can't, I don't understand why they're still bringing maps out and that when... You know, a three and a half grand computer with a brand new graphics card can only run like 50, 60 frames because it's still running DX9. They need to move it to DX11. The game is so old, it's like eight, nine year old. It's like the DX version. It's ridiculous. They need to move it forward. As the cards get the graphics cards get newer, the frame rate's gonna get lower and lower and lower. Because they don't make graphics cards for DX9 anymore, because what's the fucking point? Uh right, things uh, I need so I can join. If I get ATS, what DLC? To be honest with you. I think you can get all the DLC at the moment off Kingwin, so can one of my moderators please put a link to Kingwin Euro Truck or something in the chat for BMR? So yeah, go on Kingwin, it's where you buy Steam codes from. The G2A is good as well, but I think Kingwin's cheaper at the minute, and it's 17 quid for all the DLC, like all the map DLC, and then you can join whatever night you want then. If not, you need everything but Italy and uh, the... So you need Scandinavia, Gone East and France if you want to join through the week. And then it means you can't join a Wednesday because we use the other two DLCs. But, yeah. Uh, ben, there's a video in the description if you want to really, if you're really interested. But uh, I have seizures so I don't get any warning or anything and I have them pretty much three or four times a day every day of my life. So I can't drive, unfortunately. One four three online, yeah, it'll be mint, wouldn't it? KC Mitchell, yeah, mate. If you open your eyes, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not saying it doesn't run well. What I'm saying is it runs on fucking DX9. Search it up. DX12's out now. It runs on DX9. And the frame rates are bad if you're running quite a high end system, that's all I'm saying. So if you're running like triple screens like myself, I've got it on medium to high settings, I'm getting 42 frames. Okay, I'm streaming, but I've got a 3 grand computer. It's DX9, is shit. My, na my, my bloody 980 used to run better than this. Yeah, there you go, there's actual fact for you. DX9 is 12 year old, mate. Fucking ridiculous. And they're still bringing content out for it. It's like, ridiculous, it's absolutely shocking. iRacing used to be DX9, they just put, they moved it up to DX11, so it's obviously doable. So I don't know why they don't just sort it, it's stupid. Right, final upgrades of the day. Ah, okay, KC, okay, that's fine, mate, my bad.
As I say, like my 970 on single screen gets like 140 frames on here, it runs mint. But the older graphics card you go, the better frame rates you'll get on this particular game. And it's just something you have to accept because it's just so, so old. I just don't know, what, I don't know why, they, they're obviously going to upgrade it because why would they keep bringing content out for it? So there's got to be an update coming to the X11. No. I know, I know Anonymous, I read that as well, but I just thought it was bullshit, to be honest. <laughs> Everyone else who used to be DX9's upgrade, so I don't know why they can't. Uh, yes, I was playing Forza 4 yesterday, buddy. If you have a look on my channel, you'll see yesterday's stream was Forza 4. Alright. Let's go. Red spanner, here I come for a paint job. Well, no, we're not doing paint job, we're doing light bars, aren't we? And a mud flap, I want a mud flap. <laughs> Look at all the trucks coming in. All different colours, it's meant, isn't it? Hey, Will. Will? William, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. I have no idea where the red spanner is. Oh yeah, it's here. Nice one. Hey Ben, how you doing buddy? Hope you well. Yeah, spot on mate, spot on. No, as I say, the fact is they're gonna sort it. They have to, otherwise the game will die. It's as simple as that, because as the cards get newer and newer, in six years, it'll have to be sorted because the cards just won't run it. New upgrades, six. I've got six to do. Problem is, I've still got painting to do in that. All right, so six upgrades to go. All right, so I'm definitely going light bar, hundred percent. So light bar, obviously lights don't count, so we can get our, our, that's our first upgrade. There's one. I want an air horn of some shape. Right, so there's one. Clean. I was interested whether I should go bull bar or not. Like the white. Yeah, that's nice. So there's two upgrades. Definitely need a set of mud flaps. Can I do painted ones? Ah, that's the one. Right, so there's three upgrades from me for now. So I'll go four with that. I really want to paint this. So we'll do that with the. Uh, no, I want to leave that alone, not that. So, right, that's one. So that's four, is it? Uh, hang on, one, two, three, and four, yeah. So, a four there. What else have we got? I'm not bothered about the grill. I, want, I wouldn't have minded painting that if I could, but... So we've got four. I want to put my big mud flap on, but we're probably not going to be able to do so. If I do four, five, and six. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll do us. All right. Uh, Yeah, so if I do, if I get rid of that, actually. 
Right, yeah. So we'll get rid of that and we'll go with that. We're sorted. Ah, trucks are looking smart, mate. Ah, that daft's nice. That's a scanny, actually. Couldn't even see it. Truck's looking smart. Truck is looking smart. I'll go with the auxiliary lights. Uh, that one's clean, like it. Still needs to paint his bumpers, but he's gone twin axle, I like that. That Scania's looking smart. He's got more than six upgrades on there, though. There's no way. Jesus. He's got everything. Pipes, the lot. Rear end done. Yeah, that's more than... We've only done 10 upgrades, haven't we? No, 12. I couldn't even do my axle on out. These are looking smart as out, man. I'm in love. Even the Renault looks not bad, you know. That thing's tidy. Yeah, that is tidy. Cool. Alright, final job. Tell me, are you a fool? Yes, mate, I am. Massive cockhead. Or cunt flap, whatever you want to call me, really. I'm, I'm good with good with either. And probably more than likely being called worse over the time. Alright, where are we going? Where are we going? I don't, I don't want to go back up where we've been. I mean, that seems a bit pointless. I was thinking like three, four hundred mile. Uh, I was thinking three would be three fifty. I mean that's three fifty there. Right. Right, we'll go with that. We're going to Rostock. Don't pick it, just highlight it. Alright, uh, Italy free. No, I don't think they will be, no. You don't need to delete people's comments if they're just like stuff like that. It's not an issue, like. Right, Italy won't be free, but they are making an update adding a free. Oh, so Siberia, you're going to be free for it then? Is that right? That makes sense. Ah, how do, how do, how are you doing? Ah, got you there, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Can I be, no, I don't need any moderators, mate, and that. Right, let's go. And I would say, just pick the job and go, to be honest, because I don't think we're going to be able to wait around too much. I mean, I don't mind being on a little bit later, but, I, you know, I don't want to take the face up. There's family asleep next door, so behind that wall there's people asleep so I don't really want to take the mic too much so ah cheers man ah let's go and get it picked up I'm quite pleased with my truck I might bring this one out next Saturday and then we can finish it off. I want to do more upgrades. Might have to start with four upgrades, I think, do four, four and six. That might be better. Or four, six and eight. See, I think some people started with all the painted bumpers and all that already, whereas I started with literally nothing. Uh, and then by the time I painted my bumpers and all that, I can't actually add a nice axle or anything. Ah, right, that's good. I like that. 
So if you already own Italy, so if you buy Italy now while it's cheap as out, that'll be the best thing to do. You get Italy on Kingwin for like nothing. Sorry mate, I didn't see you coming, my bad. Why is everyone trying to drive out together? What's that about? Steady away lads, steady away. Come on. Gently. Someone's sitting in my trailer by any chance. Oh no, we're good. Oh, I like me truck. She's looking clean. Yeah, that's a nice looking truck right there, man. Right, out of lods, man. Out of lods. Let's get cracking. At least £10.56. That's not bad. I quite like the paying job. I think that's why I like Saturdays, because you just do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Uh, so I think we need to add more upgrades, though, because we've done, like, four or five jobs. And... Sorry, four jobs. And I still haven't got the upgrades I would like done to my truck. So I think do four, six and eight or something like that I think might be worth it. We did two, four, six. So I think if I do four, six and eight that'll be way, way better. I can't actually see the green light there. Oh, there we go, I can see it now. Alright, at least seven quid on CD keys. Nice one. I always look at G2A CD keys, you know, there's tons of them. Hey, you want to find the best one. Seven seventy nine, yeah. So G two A or uh, CD keys, yeah. Loving the truck, I'm loving it, man. Yeah, see you later, Jaden. Looking nice, mate. Yeah, looking nice. Ah, there you go, 578 on instant gaming, that's not bad. A little convoy going on there. Don't forget though, if you're going to buy Project Cars, buy the Deluxe Edition, honestly. Right, on we go lads, on we go. So I've got 348 miles to go and then that's just done. I've got to be off at 10, uh, at 1, so we'll see how far we get in 10 minutes, but I'm not going to get 350 mile in, I apologise. But I've got people to sleep next door, so... Right, uh, the race week, the race is next weekend between you and the rib pack, yes. Yeah, next weekend on Saturday, and the convoy is on the Friday. So, yeah, it'll be good. Be a good laugh. I've got eight lads together, so I think the has got eight people, and be 16 of us all together. Guess, come fir guess who comes first? I would have to put money on BMR or uh, Call Call. If man like Tom gets some practice in, then he's he's quick like, but he's definitely rusty. But he is rapid like. 
Uh, eight o'clock. We'll be doing it, yeah. Hey, I mean, rip pack win, that's brilliant. I just, uh, I don't know if they've got anyone that quick. I mean, Cole Cole and BMR are doing 127s around uh, Brands Arch on a standard settle. With with uh, track cut, cutting on as well, so you can't cut. I mean, I cut the whole chicane out on Ribstream and managed to do a 127. Like, because he didn't have uh, corner cutting on, but these lads are doing it with it on. Uh, I want to, like mid 127s I'm like oh Jesus I'm like 130s they're like 3 seconds quicker than me but it's a race so fast laps do matter but they don't matter that much because if you're consistent you're going to win more so oh no Ben didn't they dropped out nightmare well I've got to come off in 8 minutes mate so Fast as you could do was a 33. 33 seems fairly constant, yeah. Yeah, Burra, mate, we, we've got the same, to be honest. Most of the race lads are doing about a 130, 131. That's what me and my dad are doing. Uh, but, like, we have got a couple of the lads that are, like, full on sim races, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I'm sure the rib pack will get some eventually as well. We're racing, the more time you put in, the better you get, like. Oh, mate, great. What are you doing, Sheen? I say, I, I reckon I could get a 29. I reckon. Yeah, but that is consistent, yeah. Yeah, I was struggling a bit tonight with my hands, but. Yeah, I mean, Donny, I was consistently tonight doing 130s. 131s. My dad was doing 133s, 135s, that sort of. So he's three, four seconds off the pace of me, but he, he's consistent, like, he is good. We had a good race round there, actually, with five laps, I think, we chased him for. <laughs> Low 131s, yeah, I reckon if I really pushed, I could get into 29s, if I, if I actually put practice in, but I won't practice until next Saturday, like, too much else to do. I might get, I might get on, the, the rib lads do a bit of practice on the night, but... I definitely won't be able to get on until Tuesday or so, but we're racing again Tuesday anyway, so I'm more than likely to get on there. Hey, GTA, yeah, I do not much at the minute. I don't really have a desk that runs it, but yeah, I'd definitely uh, get back to it, yeah, once I, once I can, definitely. No, if I had to put money on, I think Rib's got two or three lads that are quite quick. But uh, from consistency point of view, I probably would have to put money on Cole Cole. I think if I had, if I really had to, I know for a fact BMR's probably a little quicker than Cole Cole. But consistency-wise, Cole Cole is consistent, man. He wasn't tonight, like, but I know for a fact he'll be practicing for a week. And Tom Tom will be the same. I know Tom. Man like Tom, sorry, I bet you he gets down to like the 28s. I just don't know where they're getting it. Not on a standard car, I just have no idea. Graphics card, at the moment in this machine I run a 1080 Ti. The other, the other second rig I run a, uh, a 1080. And the desk is not got a card in it yet, but it will be a 27. I would imagine. That's it mate, I'm flawed. That's all I can do, 56. It's not limited, it's uh, the job that I took is limited to 56, so... Just off practicing, 129 for you. Oh, you got in the 29s? Jesus. That's on a standard setup as well. Nailed it, mate, nailed it. Well done. Now can I get in there? I reckon, I reckon I could get in the 29s, but I definitely can't get in the 27s, like, not comfortably. There's no way. I just I don't know where the lads are getting it from. And that's low 27s, I mean. By the time next week comes, I guarantee you one of them's doing 26s. And that's all, that's all the, uh... No, 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 130 was my best in your session. You didn't have corner cutting on, so when we crashed, I, I went through the chicane, flat out, and got a 127, but that wasn't a... That was with corner cutting. 
My best lap with you lot was 130. That's what, that's what, I, I did 10 laps around it today on my stream. My best lap was a 130, but that was with full track cuts on, so you can't cut the corners. And that was with standard setups. So, yeah, try and fall the 29. But you've got to make sure the, truck, the corner cuts on, rib, because when you cut the corners, it's just not fair and make sure that the setups are turned force default setups in the, in the, when you look in the rules and regulations you've got to have the default setups because I know for a fact there's a couple of our lads that would knock two or three seconds off with a decent setup and then that's not really fair then if you're tuning the car to suit you but there's two of ours are in the low 127s tonight which is just insane they're stupidly quick stupidly quick Two hundred and twenty sixty-one mile left. How does a liquid cooler operate? Do you have to put water or something? No, it's a it's a so, solid unit. It's built from the factory, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, as I say, I, I know for a fact if I actually put some practice in, but the only practice I've had was with you lot. <laughs> and then, as I say, we did a 10 lap race tonight, but I was pretty much racing my dad the whole way around, it was mint. I drive flawless and get a 32. Our peeps, yeah. Smoothness, mate. It, it, because you've not been racing physically, like sim racing for that long, a lot of the lads come from like i racing and that, and it's a completely different ball game, honestly. Trust me. Uh, but it's just smoothness, rib. It's just brake a bit earlier, you know, down the gears smoothly and turn in smoothly. If you watch some of your streams back, you'll see that you're quite like you'll brake hard, and then you'll just turn in like this, and it's all smooth. Just brake nice and gently, turn in smoothly, power out smoothly. All race line and smoothness. Slower is faster. If it feels slow, normally quicker. But then you got the other side of it, right? If you can get down to say a 131, that's a second off what you're doing now. But can you do it consistently? I'd rather do 20 laps at a 134 than two laps at a 130, you know, or 129, because that's not going to win you the race at all. Winning the race is consistency and being able to avoid accidents or seeing an accident happen that's some of the biggest ones like coming to a corner that you know is quite brutal picking you where you want to be because you know for a fact the three that are going into the corner aren't going to come out that's the clever part of racing putting fast time trials in is good and all that but I was three seconds quicker than my dad tonight I couldn't get past him so each lap I was three seconds faster but I was stuck behind him for six laps I couldn't get past him cleanly just couldn't we we I raced my dad for 10 laps tonight with everyone else so there was 16 of us and we were fairly consistent like my dad my dad spun it on the second from last lap I think but yeah it was I was doing 131s ish pretty much every lap with a 130 being my best so I was happy at that for 10 laps that was with a dark as well like we, we like racing in the dark a bit between 15 and 40 pound uh, if that helps I don't know what you mean there uh, oh sure I'm sure is that for a game or something then right lads I'm gonna pull at this fuel station and call it a night because as I say I've got family trying to sleep next door so <coughs> I would love to finish the job but it'll be fifth quarter past 20 past by the end and it's just not fair when I've got family here you know That'd be a bit of a shit stream, mate, if I wasn't talking, wouldn't it? I do 11 till 1, buddy, not 11 till half past. That's what I do. So, that's what I told them I would do, so. Excellent! Uh, next next stream won't be till Tuesday now. Oh, why have you parked there? I was just wanting to show me wagon off. 
There's a fucking space there. Honestly. I always end the camera somewhere and there's always someone sitting blaring a horn. Honestly. Right. Uh, so yeah, I won't be back now till Tuesday as my next, uh, my next stream, so... Uh, I'm taking Monday off with my wife and then obviously we've got family here tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, we're not really going to get to see each other much tomorrow, so we're just going to take Monday off and spend a bit of time with them. Because why not? I never get to see her much, so... Anyway, thanks for cracking day. Don't forget if you enjoyed the stream, please uh, give it a like and a sub. I really appreciate it. Uh, likes more important really to be honest because it does help the videos get put in recommended and things so if you are sitting enjoying it anyway it would really help catch us all later thanks again for a cracking night and uh, i'll see you all tuesday take it easy guys and have a good one